First level, modify all fours, belly lift. So you're gonna tuck your pelvis and round your spine maximally. You are going to push your hands into the ground at all times I want your nose sort of over your fingertips. And that is that serratus reach that we were getting. It's coming from here. We want those ribs up to the sky. And you are just breathing, always breathing in through your nose. And an extended breath out through your mouth. Round, 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 round. You are constantly then biasing airflow into that posterior mediastinum. You're inhibiting your lat, which is a massive overdrive muscle that compensates when you don't have shoulder stability. And give me about five to 10 breath cycles in this position. Next option is to stay in this position. Back must be completely rounded and drive your left hand into the ground. See if you can pick up your right without losing that posture. After five to 10 cycles, do the same thing with this side, but imagine you are really reaching with that serratus. Those ribs are back and every breath in, you're expanding back here. Every breath out, you are breathing all the way. You have to breathe out all the way. Full exhale, even pause for two to four seconds at the end of the exhale. And then you've got it. Next level, I want you to come up onto your toes. And can you do the same thing? Ensure you've got the right posture. And then if you're doing okay, you can try to pick up one hand, but reach with that serratus and maximally exhale, still breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Next level, at any point in time, you can add a balloon or a straw for expiratory muscle training. So again, in through the nose, maximally out through the mouth. Another option I may give you is to add in a right glute max. Always ensuring you have proper posturing of your diaphragm. You've got your reach, add some serratus, and then glute max would be lifting that knee to the side. Don't let anything move here. It can be banded or not. Progressing from here, your knees are a little further away from you. Still want that nose over your fingertips. Get your posturing so maximally round. And to make this harder, to challenge that ab wall and serratus, so you've got your reach, you've got your ab wall, we then get you to begin straightening your knees. Now, did you lose your posturing? This is the all fours belly lift. Are you reaching? Are you posturing your diaphragm? Are you breathing into that posterior mediastinum? Are you breathing out through the mouth? All the way, again, you can always hold it for two to four seconds. Pause at the end of the exhale. Often as well, when you are reaching, rounding, using your abs and serratus to also maintain that posterior pelvic tilt and reach one knee to the ground. Back up, reset, get your flexion. Reach the other knee to the ground, flex, 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 so back to neutral and keep doing those knee taps. But when you do it, make sure you don't lose that posterior tilt of the pelvis. Option to put a ball or a block between the knees to get a deduction. Then you have the option of how close do you bring the feet. If you bring them further out, you get hip, IR. Then make sure you go into that maximum flexion, not for you. <laughs> Make sure you are getting your reach with your serratus and you can either maintain this position, squeezing the block, or you can lift up, squeezing the block, reaching maximum flexion, do your breathing.